Right, we'll have to see how this go, guys, because um, I haven't played this game in quite a while, and um, I had a comment from somebody, uh, you know, saying that I should probably do some some kind of like let's play on this. So um, this is quite new to me. I don't know. This is going to be like a bit a beginner's guide, really, but like a let's play, maybe. I mean, there's just so little content on this game, and I just feel like I really need to do it justice because I. I just love this game so much. It's such a special game to me. I mean, it's the developers just did such a great job. And I wish so much they would make this into an MMO because I really think it would work. Like, I just or just like a multiplayer game or just make another game. And they seem they do more content, but yeah, it's just the music's great. It's super chill. Like, it really helps me through COVID. And I just think that going to do this kind of like beginner's guide and just kind of talk and ramble and just see what happens so i'll give you um i'll just show you my farm i'm hoping this it loads you back into the last farm you were in so i don't know if i'm putting on one of my other farms but yeah if you start playing this game for the first time then there's so much to learn like the learning curve to start with is massive probably it's probably the big one of the biggest learning curve games you'll ever get um, and if you don't join for a while, then you do get a bonus. Um, but yeah, this is my farm. You know, I mean, I gotta be honest, sometimes I don't really like people doing this because then it kind of spoils it for you. But, you know, I, I think you guys have probably seen my farm before anyway. But, yeah, it's great. This is what it's like when you haven't got a... Uh, I've even forgotten the controls. There you go. So this is what you, it's like when you go on hard mode, and I, I haven't even got anywhere near finishing mine yet at all, but this is the problem, like, I got to the point where, this is the problem with this game, like, there's the massive, like, point where you, but there's a point where you get to, and you can optimize things a lot, but doing the tractor, and doing this for like four things every single time is just a ball ache. Like, they need to make a bigger tractor. A really, really big attractor. I didn't even know they had Easter eggs. So that's really cool. Obviously, this is the thing they update the game. Um, you know, because with events, which is great, but we don't want the events forever. Like, no one cares. Anyway, so let's um get you into a new game, and so um yeah these are just the ones i created so when you create a new game you you can choose from oh hello i haven't seen this one before I, i'm not sure if those are new but that's cool okay so i think the steep terrain's uh new i mean i probably played it like a year ago but the hard mode here so you get less money and experience so the Basically, you get 25 gold, I think, instead of 10 gold. Um, and kind of less money overall. But that kind of gives you a ratio of what kind of thing you get normally. It's about... So, basically, you get about double the amount of money um, if you play on the normal one. But the problem with this one is, like, I'm a bit of an OCD-ish guy. And I like everything to be, like, you know, in squares. And if you looked at my map on my, my game, then I I had like a square, like I, I had almost like a three, almost like a six by six, and then a six by six into four blocks. So it was easy for me to walk around. And then, and then I made like a eight by eight and then a 12 by 12 and then I'm like 20 by 20. So I was able to like expand a lot quicker and not run around. Like I could run around quickly in the in the middle but then further away i'd go further so it was like it was nice and, and that's what i mean you can make your own thing so um yeah i mean this is more interesting you know i mean it's like this but i just feel like things get in the way and yeah this does feel a bit you know i mean i did create another farm um here one of these i did create that as not so um I think this one's my first one so i'll just show you quickly so if you look then basically you get terrain you know um 
and you can open these blocks out. So this is what happens is you kind of get this, you know, you can open these blocks. Now on the hard mode, they're just flat. So when you, but when you open a block, you're opening up much more than just what you get there. I mean, you can be more, I guess you could, it's like, it could be more creative because you've got more to, to, you know, go by. But I, I don't know. I think this is quite a big decision for people because it's like roads, right? They make you go a lot, a lot quicker as you can see, and not a lot of people know that, and that's important. And I feel like um, roads are so important that, you know, for me, it's like, oh, well, I'd want to put, okay, put my road here, but then I'd have to move this tree, and then do I move all these crops? Because then I want, and that's the thing, like, I wanted straight roads. I wanted to be able to just run straight down the road. Um, I mean, later on, it doesn't really matter because you can teleport and stuff a bit more. Like, you can put signs down. I mean, they all cost money. But it's this is the kind of things you want to be thinking about um, a lot when you start. Um, so, I think I might carry on with this farm, actually. Um, maybe I might just start a little bit before. But, um, yeah, I think, I think you know, the, 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 there's a lot to take in at the start. Um Let's just create a map and you kind of get the idea of what I mean, you know. Oh, crap, I just resumed my old one, but maybe I can show you anyway. Oh, that's a pretty much the same file. Um, so um, let's go for like this steep terrain because. Okay, so we just created that, yeah. Um, and things like, you know, uh, seasons really, really matter, you know, what seasons you're in, that's really important, um, because they do take a while to come around. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's a lot to take in at the start. What the hell? They've already planted loads of stuff here for me. I, wow, okay. <laughs> um, that th doesn't normally happen. Um, they've obviously maybe updated it a bit, but, so... Yeah, um, roads are really important. Now, when you, um, okay, that's fine. Right. Yeah, I see this takes so long when you're doing this. Right, so. Um, the first thing to really know is this costs one diamond and that's really useful. And the reason why is because if you want to get rid of one of your roads, um, look, you get a diamond back. Now, if you build one of the other roads, um, like this one, um, it costs you two, but you'll only get back half of the amount that you put down. So you're only going to get one, you're going to get one back if you put two down. So you're going to be losing one. Whereas this is free because you're only placing one and you're getting one back. It doesn't do like a half a diamond. So that's something to be aware of. Even though these roads look much worse than any other roads, I would definitely recommend putting these down first. And then when you've got enough diamonds, go and put the rest down. Um, <laughs> my flux has just kicked in. So you guys might see the, the screen go orange. So, but you know, it'd be fine. Um, so the next thing is, um, I mean, I've got a lot of chicken. I've got some chickens here now. Chickens and animals, I would really recommend you don't go for chickens at the start because they're really expensive. Um, like really, really, really expensive. And it's really not worth it, I would say. Um, so oh, I need level two to get it. But they, they give you a lot, maybe a lot later on, but really you don't want to be doing that. Um, you want to be you know focusing on these kind of things so and um, and really the developers have done quite a good job because the so the lettuce is the best thing at the start of the game because it makes you 15 and you get 30 so you're getting double your money it only takes 10 minutes of harvest carrots um are also good but peanuts are good because they give you um diamonds and they give you diamonds by you putting down your um stall later on so these two are for money, but I would recommend these first because you're only going to be starting out and you're going to be just doing these. But I mean, honestly, like, you know, 
I, w I wouldn't I wouldn't bother watering anything because literally you're going to wipe off nothing. I mean, if you look here, so if I water this now, oh wow, it's knocked a minute off. Now, if you really, really want to do that, you can, if maybe you've got no money, but I really, really wouldn't bother with that. Basically, when you water things, it it doesn't harp it, but the more that it, it goes on like a percentage. So if you... um water something that's only 10 minutes it's going to give you like one tenth of a minute off that but if you water something that's like 10 hours it will give you like 60 percent off that so basically the longer it takes the more time off you're going to get off it if that makes sense so again if i was going to water something for like 12 hours it'd probably knock off like four hours off that or maybe maybe three through three or four hours it's quite a lot um so yeah you you definitely that's what you want to be kind of doing and you want to kind of get yourself in a nice little rhythm it's like you know um let's go in. see for me i mean even though i'm getting 35 but look i'm getting 2 xp as well and that's what i need so this is the thing like a lot of people probably would go and do a lot of um carrots to start with but really you don't want to be doing that like yeah sorry lettuces to start with but you don't want to be doing that because um when you do lettuce you get less xp you're you know yeah okay you it's it's it's, it's basically like you're, you're gonna yeah okay you're gonna have to wait 10 minutes but so what like it's all in real time you know you can go away for 10 minutes and come back in 10 minutes like i mean there's always something to do in this game pretty much if you're doing things right um so for instance the best thing to like the wells at the start of the game are massively o op so um normally that would give me 10 uh gold if i was on hard um i actually don't want these because i want it to be a bit straight um and actually diamonds are quite precious as well at the start of the game but it's like for instance it's like i should be harvesting should, like should i be harvesting these now or should I be harvesting them later? Well, really, I should be harvesting them later, um, unless I've got no money. And I know it says my vegetables are full as well, but obviously that's again something you want to. But you want to get nice, like a nice routine with it. And you know, you the the wells are the, basically the thing that you're going to rely most on, because they take uh, two minutes to finish, and that's kind of like what you're really going for is the, um, you know, the two minute mark. So that's what I would say is really what you want to be doing. You want to be planting a lot, um, you know, sowing more ground. Um, oh, actually, there's another thing because, yeah, so when you plant stuff, and I don't think a lot of people realize this, and I know it might sound really silly, but I didn't actually realize it for quite a while sometimes, and I just forget, is that it costs you money to plant stuff, to just plant a sow the ground. So something you want to be aware of there because you know you could go and like plant loads of um lettuces and then create more ground but you really don't want to do that because it's going to cost you more money like carrots are way if you think about it like this carrots are way better because you you know you're not spending extra 10 on each you know ground at which 10 gold at the start of the game is incredibly valuable and you're not spending more time doing it i mean yeah you need to do it eventually but there's a lot to this, really. Um, and that's what I love about this game. You know, I'm quite a person, even in life, where with my work, I like to have quite high performance um, and stuff. So, yeah, it, it's interesting. It's like now I've got 1.2K. So, really, what you want to be doing is... See, it's like apple trees. Do I really need apple trees? Not really. Um... I mean, 1 XP, great. Yeah, I'm not really sure. And I know, but this is what you really want. I mean, it costs diamonds. That's what you want. You want to plant absolutely crap ton of these. Now, not like too many. I, I mean, the thing is, if you plant, like oh, what I did is I, I did go and absolutely go mad with these. I planted like 100, but then I got to the point in a game where it really kind of blocked me because then I was like, oh, well, I've planted way too many now um, of these wells because I've kind of, I don't know, it was like, it was pointless for me to go and collect them and 
you know, it, I just spent so much money on them. I mean, they're quite, they are quite expensive. You know, four diamonds at the start of the game is quite expensive. Um, when you consider that, you know, you could probably more invest into like a vegetable stand, you know, and then you could hand in your vegetables. Um, like that would be a much better thing, you know, if you're able to, to hand in more vegetables because you're going to be getting uh, more diamonds. And that's, that's the thing. So I think, you know, this guide is going to be for, you know, yeah, go and experiment, have your own way of doing things and have fun with it. Um, but, you know, I do think like if someone had told me this stuff, I would have been a lot less frustrated. Like this isn't spoilery stuff. This is more just, you know, making you have a bit more fun in the game because it is a very grindy game. Like you will spend a long, long, long time really, uh, you know, grinding things out. And depending on how you do, you, you can save yourself a lot of time and a lot of energy with doing things a bit more optimal and you can burn yourself out very quickly. Uh, thankfully I'm a kind of person like I'm like I like Spyro um, that kind of classic game and I love to go and collect absolutely everything so I would much rather you know and I so I don't mind like I created my first level on here on the standard map and probably spent a good while on it and um, you could see at the start how much I spent on it and then I just was like well I'm gonna like create another one now and go and go on hard and that's what i did and that's what i do in most games so i've got a lot more patience i think than most people so i i don't want you to like you know because this game is really good like there's only that point at the end when you know when you see this big as what i've i've got that's when you know i needed a bigger tractor and um i can't remember whether i told the developers about that actually but i really wanted to i think i did on discord but they really need to get that tractor upgrade because it, you really just, it's just not, it's not fun <laughs> when you've got a farm that big and you know, you, you really don't, but yeah. Um, so this is the kind of grinds that you really want to be doing again. It's like, Oh, you want to be spending your, you know, all of your diamonds on these wells and, and basically wait for, you know, you to get them because they do give you quite a bit and then you can just wait. I mean, yeah, these take 20 minutes and okay. See, I could, that's not, that's not a lot of time um, and there's just no point now, obviously when it rains remember it will water everything for you it does work like Stardew Valley um, but basically you want to get as much XP as possible so that you're unlocking stuff um, and obviously seasons obviously matter potatoes are really quite good um, because they do give you a, they do give you a lot but really it's diversity is what you want so you could plant a little bit of lettuce and then plant like you could so you but i wouldn't plant that many i mean it is you know it is kind of your staple because it's all in all seasons where there's carrots you know you have one season where you don't have them but you know you would have you could have planted them all in the season before but you want to go for something like like peanuts you really need to focus on on those more than anything because but don't go crazy because you're going to use all your income and then you're just going to get diamonds back when really you want your money and that's the balance that you need to kind of get, get you know, gauge because you, you, you know, money is everything. Like, yes, you need diamonds, but money is everything in this game. You will find that you will probably run out of money more than anything else if you're doing things right. You know, that's what you really, really want. Um, but look, see, it's like potatoes. Th those you should definitely water. Even then, I got like 10 minutes off um or well, 20 minutes off you know because it's a it's one that takes a long time so yeah you know there's there but like you want to plant maybe like a little patch of those like maybe at this point i'd probably just plant one of those because you know rate it i mean i've got quite a bit of money actually i think this is a previous save but you know even then i you know you don't want to be planting loads of eggplants because then you're going to be like you've got nothing to do and that's really, really not what you want. Um, and, you know, you don't have to necessarily go and collect all your apples when they're done. You know, go and leave them there. Then go and then, you know, because if you've got your, you see at the bottom, you can turn that inventory on and off. So you might, in fact, you probably want to do that uh, if you go to settings. Um, yeah, always show inventory. I would put that on yes, because, you know, you can see what's, you, you do. I think that, that is off by default. Um, and you have to normally press start and then you can see what you've got on the left but you know 
you want to collect like 20 apples then leave all the fruit on the trees and then go and collect them when you've got the um, other one and the fruit stand so then you you kind of optimally doing it then um the gas pump so ideally what you want to do with those is uh, is buy one of those because why wouldn't you and then i would save up for the big pump um and wait for the big pump um i did actually tell everyone last time in the last video to go and get four of the small pumps and then get the big one but no i played with other people and that's definitely the best thing to do buy one pump at the start i, I mean if you're playing with other people maybe get two um but you know i wouldn't really i wouldn't really i wouldn't really bother you know you, you're, you're not going to get the optimal amount of it flowers um if you water them obviously they don't have a timer they last forever which is great again another kind of like rule of thumb for flowers is just plant one of all of them that's what i would recommend um that's definitely and, and that's where i would go with like even you know well i would go with a lot of you know quite a lot of apple trees to start with um but you want to get again a few of everything really like I'd get one of the flowers because then you can level it up because each plant you level up. And that's why I'm telling you to kind of stick to one like carrots because the more you plant carrots and the more or the more you, you harvest carrots, the more level up you're going to get with carrots. So that's really what you want to focus on um, is kind of like stick to one, one vegetable for a while. I know it sounds a bit boring, but it does work. But, you know, when you get a quest which you will get, and you need to constantly check your quest log. Um, you know, like planting those. You want to be doing. You want to be doing that. But like, see now, I'm kind of yeah. I could let let's say I had no money right now. The best thing I could actually do is go into another farm, um, because then I'm going to get my power boost, and that is another massive thing about this game, which I didn't realize to start with, and I don't think a lot of people do know. Um, which is simple as, you know, just you know, exit the game and, and go to find farms. Um, you want to go, most people have like massive farms that you can just go and harvest stuff from. Again, in my last video, I did say, so yeah, this guy, I've hearted him, rat, you want to go to him. He's always got his farm on. Even after a year of not you know, playing this game, he's still going. Um, um, and... You can go and harvest his, you get your power boost up to a top. And then when you go back, I mean, I wouldn't get it to the top, like to begin with. I would just get a couple of minutes when you know your harvest is done and then go back, you know. So, um, you know, and the great thing about this is, you know, you can um, take his fuel um, here. Yeah, so you take his fuel then you'll go and get what you need. And you'll see in the top left, my little power bar. And, and it'll tell you how how long you're going to have it for. Now, a massive tip for this, and I'm pretty sure I can't, I don't, I haven't got proof for this yet. But if you want to do your quest, uh, sorry, it is, I'll just finish what I was saying, I do that a lot. But go and harvest things that are quite expensive. That's what I would recommend doing to start with. Because they actually give you more of a boost. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm not, I can't prove it, but I'm pretty sure it does. Um, but if you press, uh, go on your map, and you'll see at the bottom right, it's green. And the reason it's green is because someone's planting all the eggs, but that's your quest. Um, and you, you wanna do your quest because um, you're gonna get a lot more boost for it. That I know that for a fact, you do get a lot more boost for you doing your quest, but obviously you're doing your quest as well. And I can actually do my quest in his farm. I mean, these are all the quests I've got from my other farm, basically all the quests I've got from all of my farms. So I can come in here and I can see by pressing uh, on the map, any green areas is where my quests are. Um, for instance, if I, um, well, it, the, 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 sorry, the green is the event quest. The orange, um, for instance, on this part here. So if it's got dots in it, like if you can see uh, in between three and nine, um, if I go there now, so, here right here 
um, you can see it's got little dots on it. Now on the bot a bottom right where it's 30, I have that orange part as a quest which looks like potatoes, but they're not ready yet. And the reason I know they're not ready is because they don't have those little dots on it. And you'll see now, if I go and harvest these, not only is my quest going to be done, but you'll see these. You see how the well, it's at, the orange disappeared, but yeah, I know they're ready basically. So because obviously they're they're not there anymore. But uh, yeah, and another thing is, it is polite to uh, you know re redo the, the the plots as well for people because then it's better for everyone else. Um, but yeah, you know that's what I would do. I'd just kind of do a bit of quests, um, and then come back to it. So. And then come back to your farm. And you've got, and, and that was the thing I was really missing. So yeah, hopefully this um, helps you guys. I don't know. Leave me some questions and some comments, and uh, maybe we'll continue this this series. I feel like I've said quite a lot there already. Um, I'd love to do this Easter egg harvest actually, because like you do get um, different you know outfits and things, which is quite cool. But again, I wish they'd make wish they make another one of these games or make it into like a massively multiplayer game, like where. We all look after one farm. I don't know, something, you know, something just expanding the game a bit more than just quests. But um, yeah, please let me know what you think about it. Because that one comment that someone said really meant a lot to me. And I thought, really, I'm going to do this because I do love games a lot. Uh, you know, I have a massive passion for games, especially good ones. And, um, you know, I think, you know, he was like, oh, you seem like you've got a good voice and I'd like to watch you do a Let's Play. So here we are. Thought I'd try it out. So let me know what you guys think.